Whether we are starting a new job or gunning for a promotion, we all know that we should be negotiating the salary. A survey by salary.com revealed that only 37% of the people negotiate their salaries, while an astonishing 18% never do. Even worse, 44% of the respondents claim to have never brought up the subject of a raise during their performance review. The biggest reason for not asking for more is fear. And we at The Career Show get it. Salary negotiation can be scary. But what's even scarier is not doing it. So whether it's your first job or the fifth, it's time to learn how to negotiate. And we are here to help. But remember to hit the subscribe button before we move on. It is the best possible way to show your support. And now, presenting a roundup of expert tips on salary negotiations. Don't just state what you want. For example, a 15% higher salary. Instead, explain precisely why it's justified. It's not simply enough for them to like you. They also have to believe that you're worth the offer you want. Never let your request for a raise speak for itself. Prepare a brag sheet. This is a one-page summary that shows exactly how awesome you are as an employee. List any accomplishments, awards, and customer or coworker testimonials. You want to demonstrate your value to your boss. And the second step while preparing is to pick the top of the range salary and be specific. As you're doing your research, you'll likely come up with a range that represents your market value. It can be tempting to ask for something in the middle of the range because of your fear. But instead, you should ask for something towards the top of the range. And you should do this for two reasons. First, you should assume that you deserve the highest pay. And the second reason is that your employer will almost certainly negotiate down, so you need to have some wiggle room to still end up with a salary that you are pleased with. Also, you should ask for a very specific number. Say $64,750 rather than $65,000. Because according to researchers at Columbia Business School, when employees use a more precise number in their initial negotiation request, they're more likely to get a final offer closer to what they're hoping for. Now that you're ready to start the salary negotiation conversation, you need to keep two things in mind. First, be ready for tough questions. Many job candidates have been hit with difficult questions they were hoping not to face. For example, do you have other offers? If we make you an offer tomorrow, will you say yes? Are we your top choice? If you're unprepared, you might say something evasive or worse, untrue. That could affect your negotiation negatively. Your goal is to answer honestly without looking like an unattractive candidate so that you don't lose too much bargaining power. If you have thought in advance about how to answer difficult questions, you probably won't forfeit one of these objectives and will have more bargaining power against the employer, putting you on the top of the negotiation. And the second thing to keep in mind is to understand the person across the table. Research by Columbia psychologist Adam Galinsky shows that when we consider the other person's thoughts and interests, we are more likely to find solutions that work well for both of us. Employers may like you. They may think you deserve everything you want but they may still not give it to you. Why? Because they have certain constraints, such as salary caps, that no amount of negotiation can loosen. Don't feel boxed in a corner when an employer asks whether you would immediately accept an offer tomorrow. They are simply interested in knowing your excitement. Hence, if you engage in a genuine conversation about what he or she is after, understand them and show a willingness to help him or her resolve the issues, both of you will be better off. Once the conversation has started and you're ready to make the ask, you should always be the first person to mention the number so that you and not your counterpart has control over the anchor. The first number you put on the table is the most important in the negotiation since the rest of the conversation is based upon it. If it's too low, you'll end up with a lower final offer than you probably want. Hence, as mentioned earlier, do your research, be prepared and pick the top of the range. And the last thing to keep in mind is that you may be afraid to hear a no. But I believe that negotiation doesn't actually start until someone says no. It's not really a negotiation if you're asking for something we know a bargaining partner also wants. 
Negotiation is a conversation with the goal to reach an agreement with someone who may not see eye to eye with you entirely. So please understand that the no is just part of the process and not a statement on how you are doing in the negotiation. Instead, keep at it. Focus on considering the entire deal along with the salary. Focus on the flexibility in working hours, opportunities for growth, promotion, perks and support for continued education and so forth. And that is the career show with today's video on salary negotiations. Please smash that thumbs up and share this video with your friends. Comment below what topics you're interested to learn about further. And until next time, goodbye.